For the past six weeks, we've been felling the dead trees on our lane, working odd hours here and there when it's not been raining. Mud into my eye. Mud in your eye? The hazards of... Sounds like a, a salutation when you have a drink. Mud in your eye? Yep. <laughs> okay. We've been hauling them down the lane with the horses into the field by the house. It's clearing the tree. But now we have to stop, partly because it's getting to bird nesting season and partly because the field is full up. Chock a block with wood everywhere. We put it all in here to get it out of the way, but we need a plan. There are basically four sizes and each needs a different strategy. The first I'm calling brash. It's all the light branches and twigs. So far it's just heaped up in piles, but I couldn't leave it here. The brambles would move in and it would quickly become a thicket and we'd lose the field entirely. I'd like to turn it into charcoal, but to do that I'll need to chip it first. But I don't have a chipper and they cost hundreds per day to hire. So I may have to make a chipper. A special chipper that makes big chips that are suitable for charcoal. Now, wouldn't that be an interesting project? Now, after the brash, there's this size. Branches and small trunks. Perfect for firewood. It will be a pleasure to cut this up, but there's more here than we need to heat our house. So I'm thinking perhaps I could turn some of this into charcoal too. They're too big for a chipper though. It would have to be more of a slicer. Hmm, another machine. <laughs> that would be interesting too. And then we get to the bigger trunks. These aren't being dragged through the mud. They are coming down on the slarch to keep them off the gritty track. These I'm hoping to mill into planks for making things with. I didn't want to start that until there was somewhere to put them. But now that the polytunnel is up, that's another nice job to start. The last size is this size, the butts or the bases of the trees. These are too big to go through my bandsaw and hard going to cut up and split by hand and they may well have wire embedded in them too so I'm open to suggestions on these. Any ideas? Any sculptors living nearby? Lovely spring day. Sunshine, everything. So all in all we have a fine resource of wood. I just need to process it quickly so the animals can get their field back. But how about this for an idea? How about I make a whole setup for making charcoal, figuring out along the way how to deal with these different sizes of timber, how to turn them into carrot sized pieces for the kiln, 
how to dry the chips before they go into the kiln, how to collect the heat from the kiln, how to process the charcoal afterwards to make biochar. Wouldn't that all be such an interesting project? Wait, Henry, will we get a bit more? Full of challenges, no doubt, but with an end product that may have value as an important soil additive. I always need to earn money, and this could be another way to do that. And of course, the very first step would be to make a small railway <laughs> to help move things around. <laughs> that would be absolutely vital, wouldn't it? I couldn't possibly do this without one. Sure, everyone needs a small railway, don't they? <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs>